Are you going to do the Norway snack try video with me? What do you read this Norway snack? Can <laughs> you get off the chair please, Benson? Can you get off the chair please? Hi guys, Hello. welcome back to the channel. I'm back. I mean, I'm back. I'm back with Corky, obviously. So we're hey. back. We're back with your guys' favourite video, a snack trying video. And today we're going to be trying snacks from, drumroll please. Oh, yeah, I know by the title, but anyway, Norway. That was very grand. That was very grand. Um, yeah. If you have been around for a while and are, aren't new to my snack crime videos, you will know that Sweden was a very strong contender. So I have always been super excited to try snacks from Norway because there's a big crossover. Yeah. And we visited Norway recently and this is why we have all, this is why we have all the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, we're just going to get straight in to try all the yummy goods. Norway has a lot of great food, so I'm excited to try. Yeah. Where will we start with? We'll start with... We'll start with the cheese. Okay. Up first is a Norway classic. This is sweet, I want to say sweet brown cheese. I don't know mm. what, I think it, it's something like that. Um, but it's very popular. You actually see it in the blocks more, but just for travel reasons, we got it in the slices. And I think it's sweetened cheese. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. We bought this like day two, and yeah. it's just sitting in the fridge. So let's so, give it a whirl. Let's hope it was okay out of the fridge for about 12 hours. On the way home. Okay, I'm so confused. It's like cheese with sweetness. <laughs> oh, that smells so hot. So this is what it looks like, guys. Cheese out. It's more brown than it comes up on camera. Yeah, it is. It's kind of the colour of caramel. Do you want to do a slice each? Yeah, I'll just take a sheet each. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh God, this smells good, actually. Right, let's go in with it. Oh, it's thicker than like our like our slice yeah. of cheese. Mm. Oh, it's not what I was expecting, but it's good. Oh, so it's really good. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's just sweet cheese. What an invention. Yeah, it tastes like regular cheddar, but just sweet. Well, it's really hard to describe, isn't it? No. Hmm. It's like mild cheddar with like a mm. good hint of sweet. It's not sh sugary, like fake. It's just it's like I don't know. Naturally sweetened. It's like they put a tiny bit of caramel in it. It's really yeah. weird. Mm. Um, that's, that's good. good. I think that's quite a popular thing to eat in Norway. So good We've seen it everywhere. Oh God, that's yes. not toast. Now it makes sense that they do a massive, big, heavy We dog. don't need to imagine that we can do it later. We can do it later. What is your rating? We will do our usual rating system out of 10. I'm going to rate it as cheese. I'm going to go 8. Yeah. I love cheese. I rate that at 8 out of 10 cheese. It's really good. Okay, but you know what? You're right. Maybe I'm just getting too far ahead because really, 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 no, really. I was like, I need to bring out a 10. No, right. Okay, we'll say eight. Eight for the sweet cheese. That's pretty good. Okay, so this was another popular Norway snack. Actually, right, so these are all popular Norway snacks, hence why we've picked them up. The only thing that's missing is something licorice. Yeah, but we both hate licorice, so it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> wouldn't be fair, but it's. We also had a horrible experience in the Sweden video with licorice because we didn't know what <laughs> really? the salty licorice stuff was. Yeah. And it's, it is just to put it out there, it is one of the most popular things we kept coming across in Norway. Um, but yeah, so this is what's up next. This is called the. Uh, I won't pronounce this. That. Let me see. Kivik Lunch. Kivik Lunks. Lunsk. Kivik Lunks. Probably and then this is one. You wouldn't think we'd have spent a week in Norway. <laughs> and this is one of their like popular chocolate brands, and uh, I'm just saying I rated their chocolate. Yeah, we've had a few bits and pieces from that brand. What's called Freya? Freya. Freya is good. So to me, this is giving me Kit Kat. If you're from the UK, Kit Kat vibes. Yeah, that's good. It was like Kit Kat, but with their chocolate, it would be much better than a Kit Kat. Oh, it's got wee cute flamingos on it. Oh. Is it? Hi. Look. Lovely. Want to hear a little crack? So we better tell some gossip then. Right, exactly what I thought. <laughs> yep. It's basically a Kit Kat, but the chocolate's better. Yeah, I agree. 
Because Nestle chocolate is awful. But then I think we're still not good with Cadbury and all. Mm. This is what the inside looks like, guys. <laughs> yeah, again, decent. Well, it's like right on the inside. It's, it's all in Norway. It's all in Norwegian, yeah. It's all in Norway. It's like, it sounds like nine particular points. Oh my god, what if they're really cute quotes? And only the translate thing on our phone would work for Norwegian. Anyway, what'd you write then? Eight out of ten. I do seven. Oh, darling, then I rate really for that. No, it's good. It's, it's, it's very just good, but it's not like mind blowing. So our overall rating is a 7.5. But it's much better than a kick cup. Next, we've got Soreland chips. Sorry, they're a little bit battered, they were in a case. Oh, God. Yeah. These are so big, I can barely fit them in the screen. Make them more. Um, yeah, everything did get a bit. I think everything survived, though. So these are kind of like their Porsche crisps. Do you get one by themselves? Do you think? Feel the packaging. Yeah, it's like pay free. And they just look like a good crisp. I'm going to say, well, they say original flavour, but. No, they're not uh, sour cream. Oh, are they? No, oh, creme fresh. Oh, creme, creme fresh. fresh. I think it's original as in, it's like an original brand. Oh, this one nice. Let's show inside the bag to the guys. Can you see inside my bag? <laughs> I love that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait, this is basically our lunch here, starving. Good. Oh, they're, they've got a lovely sour cream flavour. Oh dear, yeah they are nice. They've been cut with the skin on too. You see? Yeah, they're definitely more of like a got a crunch to them. You know that type of crunch? Like a posh potato. Yeah, they're like a higher price point, I think. I think they're going for that home baked kind of. Yeah, because it's showing you like them farming them and all that good stuff. And the flavour's really good, isn't it? It's like just the perfect balance, quite punchy but also not overpowering. Yeah, no, I'll do that then. Do you know what? 9 out of 10. You do 9 out of 8 again, I think. We've got high See what happens, see, all good so far. Okay, up next we've got these little guys called the cartoons. Now, do you want to do the honours and tell the wee story about how they Yeah, the only reason I got these is because I didn't know they still existed. Because I remember getting these as a kid in England. Oh, so do I. They were the here too. Yeah, the little biscuits with like animal faces on them and there's chocolate inside them. So we actually did already try these on the trip, but we're trying them again now. I mean, the, face, the faces are kind of gone. Yeah, yeah they they were. I remember them being. Oh, yeah, they really are gone. I don't think I looked at them last night. Then. Mm. They're um, not as good as I remember them being. So it's like this if you've never had them before. They're like little tiny biscuits, right? And there's chocolate in them. Uh -huh. I bite in half, actually. Oh. It's only chocolate in them. That's the thing. As a kid, I remember them being sweeter, so let's use some more chocolate in them. Oh, really? It's so little. Yeah, it's like little tiny bits. Yeah, funny, we both said that day we remember them being more chocolatey, but maybe just as a kid we did, or yeah. they've changed. But I wonder why we don't get them anymore. Yeah. I would just write them uh, 5 out of 10 though. I'd, I'd, I'd agree. Very 5 sad. out of 10. I've got another thing from Freya, the chocolate brand, and these are called Smil. And again, these were also like something you kind of saw everywhere and I seem, think are quite popular. They look like Rolos. They do. They look like Rolos if you're from the UK. Well, right. America have Rolos too, don't they? I'm sure lots of places do. But... Do they? Oh, they're bigger than a ruler. Oh, they are bigger than a ruler. They smell great. I'll let you get one out while I show the channel. So yes, guys, they're literally like a mini Rolo. Mini Rolo, a bigger Rolo. Oh, they're different. It's like runny caramel inside these. Oh, Rolos is like stiff caramel. Why did I not get more of those? Oh, they're good. We had intentions of trying this stuff. We got this like on the first ever trip and we had intentions of trying this and doing this video over there. Time time got away from us for a bit. Oh my god, they're amazing. <laughs> they're really good. Yeah, we meant to do it on the trip, but then we just didn't have the time. And then anything I liked, I was going to get more of, but... And then we also ate some of it. 
Yeah, I ate a pick -a mix guys, I have to confess. The pick -a mix game in Norway is just something else. Every shop had it, and it was a mad selection. And they had like these things called bubs, was it? Mm. And oh my goodness, they are unreal. The They're like cho banana chocolate disc looking things. Mm. Every mm. shop we went into had a had pick -a mix and I ended up getting it, so sorry I didn't make the video, but it's 10 10. Every shop had a selection that only cinemas would have here. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Were they great? They were good. I'm going to say 10. You're going 10, I'm going to go 9. Oh, 10. Unreal. Couldn't be better to me. Wow. Right, next up we've got Hobby. I'm excited to try this one. I know nothing about it. I don't know what's in it, but I've been wanting to eat this since I saw it. I like the, um, the like, old school room. branding yeah. about it. I, this could be marzipan or something for all I know. Could be horrific. Yeah, we actually have no clue what this is. I've always gravitated towards it. I went to buy one again, remember, and then I was like, oh, I bet not, because we're doing it for the video. That's what it looks like, guys. We can't really tell much yet. Where are these made? Obviously, Norway. Guys, it's marshmallow. Oh, is it like a Milky Way? No, it's marshmallow. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, and something on top. What's that on top? Jelly? What the hell? Oh, yeah, that. That huh? is weird. Like a sweetie with marshmallow. That's nice. So it's milk chocolate with a layer of like, you know, like gummy sweet almost, and then a layer of marshmallow. And there's like, like a biscuit. And a bit of biscuit. It kind of crunches. It's crunches and it's soft. Jelly and foam covered with milk chocolate. Jelly foam, jelly and foam. So jelly marshmallow milk chocolate. Wow. I did mm. not expect that. I was actually expecting that to be like cereal pieces and chocolate or something. I don't know. I don't know what I expected. Wow. Good though. I would give that an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I say 8 too. You also can't compare that to anything in the UK. No, you really can't. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas concerned about the next one. Well, we've seen that the. We're going to say quandary. Yeah, we are. That they. And it's just as like relevant to your country and what you what meats and stuff you specialise in. So I'm sorry if this is a harsh topic for anybody. But so over in Norway they would eat reindeer and what was the other one we saw? Moose and whale. Whale. Well. <laughs> now the thing is, I didn't see rail or rain, whale or reindeer in any of like the charcuterie sections, like you would see pork things. Well I don't know if this is just tourist trap. Rubbish. But then it was in the fish market. And there is a Norway it. farming logo thing like we have here. But yeah, so some Viking snacks. So this is this is this is cured whale. So Nicola really wasn't sure about getting this or not, but I was like, ah, do it. It's already been made. The whale can't be saved. Like guys, I do eat meat and so I feel bad for cows and all and really I should do something about that, but here we are. Yeah, that's the thing. We try we don't try to eat loads, so. No, I know. At least we're honest about it. Oh wow. This is not the job for me. Do you want me to try it down? I, probably, I could just get a pair of scissors and open it, but let's see if you can do it. You know, I've got the patience of a saint, me. Yeah. Now, for, before we both sniff, what smell are you expecting? Um, Fishy. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, yeah, I guess. Like, like well, kind of like cured. Meat like chorizo meat, but nice. like salt. Oh, it smells like um, it smells like pepper uh, pepperoni. That's what it looks like. You see, technically they're mammals, so they'll be more meaty. They're not going to be like fish. They're going to be more meaty than fish. It also smells like dog food. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's right. I wouldn't bother, just get some pepperoni. It's the same thing. Yeah. Oh, it's wee fishy aftertaste though. Yeah, I get that. Oh, but basically... I don't really like the aftertaste of mine. Aftertaste is strange. It's salt. Can I say salty? I would say... It's pep... Like, just like pepperoni. Sorry to cheapen it. But over wee... Salted, slightly fishy aftertaste at the end. I would just get pepperoni though. I wouldn't bother. Yeah, like... Plus, this was extortionately priced. Well, anyway, how would you rate your wheel? Not bad, like I don't I like, no, I like cured meat. I'd, I'd give say that seven. Six, seven. Yeah, I'd say six, I think. Okay, around that. Next we've got Bamis Mums. 
Oh my god, are they bear mums? Bamsy, Bamsy mums. What's all that mean, bear mums? I don't know, but... Oh, that is so cute. Look at their wee faces. Look on the back. There's English, there's English on the back of that. Oh. It says, marshmallows covered with milk chocolate. I thought they were marshmallows. Did we have these in the Sweden video? Bamsy mums? I thought it was. Where's Bamsy mums? I could have. I can't remember. We've done that many videos then. Also, I feel like I'm on a ship. Have we done Sweden so long? I've done two Sweden. And they're both a long time ago, aren't they? Yeah. Sorry. I'm having a mirror. Are these going to have that really <gasps> sweet smell like the bananas did? No, they smell nice. Oh, they smell great. Oh my gosh, look how cute, guys. Sweet darling. Did you rip its head off and kill it? Yeah. Oh, that's also a good texture. So it is just marshmallow and chocolate, but they've got the texture right. What's oh, it good in your teeth? The hobby bar was really soft. Mm -hmm. That's like chewy marshmallow. In a good way. Oh, they love that. Yeah, they are good. Hmm. That's maybe that band, Nidan, Nidar. Is that an R or an N? N. An N, an R? Or is it an R with a flick? Oh, yeah. I don't know. But them and Freya seem to make <laughs> most of the snacks. A bit like us, Mongolia's film activity. <clears throat> Freya mm. is done by Mongolia. Is that all they go? Yeah, they're good. I like them. Yeah. Ooh. 8 out of 10, I think. Yeah, they're not great. 8 for the bears, 8 for the bears. Gee, the food in Norway was good. And even their snacks are good. See, Sorry, the food in Norway across, wasn't the it wasn't just good. The food in Norway, in my opinion, was freaking fantastic. Uh, especially that bucket of mussels I got. Fish, cinnamon rolls, the bread, school bread, just your bakery items. Coffee was good. Your coffee was good. Your sweets are next level. I might as well just move. The people are beautiful. The the nature is wonderful. You walk everywhere. I'm just doing a big stereotype, but that's how I felt, and it was Red wonderful. Life is very easy. What was it you said? Everything's made with like an easy life. In mind, yeah, like they, like they, it felt like they were like you used to just do everything to to make it as easy as possible for your life. Yeah. And I like that. That's that's what life should be about. Yeah. Solo. Solo. I saw this, and I saw another thing that was made by. The Coke Company had a really mad logo on it, do you remember it? Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, I forgot what it's called. I, I wanted to get that, but I couldn't see single cans of it. I could only see a big tree of balls, so I got this. Yeah. Solo, I'm assuming it's just an orange drink, like Fanta. Mm hmm It says since, it looks like, like since 1934 they've been making this. Yeah. I don't know. Are the cans smaller than here now? No, it's like a Red Bull can, it's oh, just yeah, 3.30. Yeah. Looks like that. Solo. Solo. Right. What's oh, right? Oh, it smells like Fanta. It does like Fanta. Take it away. Take it away. Just like Fanta. A bit fresher. Less artificial. Yeah, it tastes like there's actually oranges in that. Mm. Well, there's oranges in our Fanta too. It's not like American Fanta. But no. no. In orange. Um, ingredients. Ooh. 8% apple juice. Oh. No, it's nice. It's like a less, uh, it's like a more fresh like, version of Fanta. Yeah, I like it. Nothing wrong with that. It doesn't feel super sugary either. Yeah, I was a little bit say. I would rate it so low. I'll go six. Oh, it's low? I was going to yeah. say eight. Yeah, it just wouldn't be something I'd pick, but it's fine. I'd say eight. Okay, next we've got a wee bag of sweeties. These are called Laban. I don't know why I said it in that accent. Oh wow, five something. Five Pineapple, flavors. orange, apple, raspberry, raspberry and lemon. <laughs> You're gonna say still in there. I was gonna say, I was gonna say citron. Um, so we actually saw these everywhere, so I'm assuming they are very popular. You saw those in the pick and mix things, didn't you? You could get them single right here. Oh, the bag is just a delight. I smell it. Just a delight. Sorry. Let's show them the bag of the little people. Wow, holy hell. Look at all those That's little people. Potent. And look at, it's potent in a good way though. You can have a raspberry to start. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. They're really floppy. The wobbly people. Wiggle, wiggle. The wobbly humans. They are very wobbly. Oh, I had these in pick and mixes. Oops, tried them before. That's what I was saying. Were in the pick and mix? I got them in my mouth. Oh. I remember seeing them, but I forgot I did get them. Mm. There's another one. They're not like, so they are covered in sugar, right? Oh, hang on. Some have got tits. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. That's really blew my mind. They are, look. They have all the requirements to make men and women sex organs. I'm trying to keep it as diverse as possible. So I was about to say they're covered in sugar, but they're not fizzy. No, they're not. They're not too bad. I'm not particularly loving the texture of these. No, they're not my favorite sweet. They're too gummy. Yeah. They're kind of weird. I just mean, I'm only saying this because the sweet came over there is strong. Well, they're a bit harder. Mm. They're a bit too floppy. The flavor is nice though. Yeah. Not terrible. I would say seven out of 10 for me. I was gonna say six. Okay. So next we've got another one of these Freya bars. This is a chocolate hazelnut. Wasn't it hazelnut? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Fur clover. Fur clover? Uh, we tried the plain one. Yeah, we had the plain one and we had one with like jelly bits in it. Yeah. When we were away. Became a bit addictive that chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. But yeah, I like the brand. It's very uh like Swiss. I don't know, let's go say yeah. Swiss. So weird. Why is Toblerone everywhere over there? I think Toblerone's just popular everywhere. Alright. Same with like Mars bars, or oh, they're called Jack. break the bar if I show it. Oh, oh my goodness! I nearly broke the card and rolled. That got a little pink, a little flame. I, I didn't actually. It. I didn't look at it. Um, it does. It has... Flamingo is their branding. Is that a flamingo? I don't know. It's something with one leg. There you go. Not one leg, but you know. It's something with one leg. Hmm, <laughs> that's creamy chocolate. Not many other countries do chocolate well. <laughs> no offense. No, they don't. Oh, true. I'll die on the hill of Cadbury's being the best mainstream chocolate you can get. It just kind of beaten, but this is very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got like a like a more posher chocolate to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I can still happily eat that. Mm. You know I mean? Nothing wrong with it. No, I really but like it's it. just not, it's just not Cadbury's. But nothing is. Yeah. It's the only thing that I feel. Britain does better. Cadbury's chocolate, which is probably made in the Middle East or something. I already gave that 7 out of 10. What? Sorry. Yeah. Ugh. I would. What? It's not wrong with it. It's That's nice. really unfair, isn't it? I haven't thrown out of 10 yet, but everything's been very good. I'm going to say. Eight or nine. Yeah, nine, I think. Nine? Wow. Penultimate snack. Wow. <laughs> Does that mean share snack? Probably, yeah. Family snack? Don't know. Anyway, we've yeah. got Kim's Crisps. Rich ranch flavour. Ranch. It's weird seeing ranch um, in a country other than America. True. But then it says that, and then it says there's paprika and stuff on it. So I don't know if it is ranch. I think it said something about paprika, garlic, and... Oh, I can't remember. Wait, yeah. this was a popular... Yeah, we saw this a lot. Dip your head in, boy. Oh, dip your head Oh, they're very broken. They didn't have a good... No, they, they are. They aren't really. Oh, well, okay, fine. I was going to say they didn't have a good time with the suitcase, but they're not too bad. Also, it doesn't look like there's much in there, but it is heavy. Yeah, it's pretty full. But then bags are like, I thought they to put the nitrogen in them. Alright. They just look like good old crinkly crisps. They smell good. Oh, yeah. Wow. Food just makes me happy. Oh, yeah. They're not like smashing in the face of flavour, but they are still really good. It's that like subtle paprika with them where that garlic comes through. Wow. Mm, yeah. This brand, Oakley, if that's how you say it, make a lot of the stuff. A lot of these things are made by that brand. Do you remember what I rated the other press nine, was it? 
Now we will. Oh my god. These are an eight then. The other ones are slightly prefer. I'm gonna give them an eight as well. Mm. Nothing's been bad. No. Normally we do videos. There's a couple of things that are horrific. And uh, just to be like, oh, we just we picked all the good snack, like all the snacks we like. We really did mean to pick up licorice. I did say, but we just kind of even though we wouldn't like it. Yeah. So yeah. if there's licorice here right now, we'd probably be like. Oh. Yeah, if the last snack is, I don't want to say what Norway's known for, but like this was everywhere. Everyone talks about this. Yeah, and everyone says if you come to Norway and you try it. So they look like they're like savory little tortilla, like. In the bag. Crisp things. Crispy snacks covered with chocolate, so they're like. That's are they like crisps? Savory thing. I think they're like corn chips covered in chocolate. Oh, it's usually like a one, two, three, if you see. Yeah. Everyone talks about this. This is where I'm going to be so gutted I don't get more than one thing. Yeah. These are so me. Oh. Interesting. We'll show in the bag and then I'll show you one. And if you're if you're like me, I love a bit of sweet and savoury. Oh, they're like wee horns. So they are literally like... Oh, they've got two stuck together. Yeah, same as I. Oh no dear, how sad. Little corns of chocolate. Ready? Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so weird. That's beautiful. Oh, that's great. That's like me. It's busy and crisp. Why do Covered we... in chocolate. Why are we not meant that? They're great. It's in English. Well, it is in English, but my snacks covered with milk chocolate. So I wasn't too far away. Try something else. They are good. They're really simple, but they work really well. Oh. I get why. They're popular. They love these. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Absolutely everywhere. I'm not Maybe sure who can go in and do them. Are the bars the same? That's what I'm not sure. Because we've got like salt kind of ones in there. Mm -hmm. But they're not for us. We're giving them to other people. We'll take one more. They're so Moorish. Yeah, they're great. They're very, very, very good. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Come on, whip it out. No. What, darling? No. I'm giving them a nine. I give the boy the best snacks they could ever wish for and he still doesn't whip out his ten. They're a ten, darling. What would make them better? I don't know. Then it's not. I'm giving them nine out of ten, like. I haven't actually given a ten in this video. Well. Which is mad. I'm coming through with a ten because the sweet, the savoury, the chocolate on it is even good. I like these won't last much longer. Yeah, no, they are very, very good. Wonderful. They would be a te I just like they are class. But they're not the most favourite thing ever in the world. I didn't eat that and go, oh my god. Well see. Like you know I'm giving a ten. <laughs> but that's close, thanks. Like, okay, now you're just making me feel bad for giving a ten. Don't be silly. Anyway, we will come back with our top three snacks from Norway. Oh gosh, once you start eating those smash things, you mm -hmm. won't stop. <laughs> right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Top three <clears throat> snacks for me from Norway are. Mine are the same. These are kind of joint. Second for me. So these crisps, the sour cream, lovely, the cream fret, creme fresh. And just lovely crunch, lovely flavour. And then we've got the fret smell, the ones that are like rulos if you're from the UK, but these are just way better. And then my top one is Smash! Oh. And Craigie's top three Sorry, is... I was Benson, what are you doing? Benson, why are you licking the chair? Darling, just relax. Sorry, our dog's sitting in the corner licking the chair. Anyway. It's just like a mental dog. <laughs> yeah, a weirdo. Your anyway. top three was also the same, right? Exact same. Yeah. Exact same. So. And then we just did an honourable mention for the cheese, because it's like nothing we would ever have. Yeah, very good. Um, we're so in, in hindsight, I probably should have rated it higher, but there we are. Yeah, so we tried it first. Yeah. Um, that on a bit of toast I'm excited to try. Um, but yeah guys, that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video. One of um, the better ones we've done. Yes, definitely one of the better ones. I was not... I was... I'm not surprised because I have went on to Craig. How long have I talked to you about the Sweden video? Yeah. And we did notice a lot of the snacks that we tried in Sweden were also available in Norway. So obviously there's yeah. an overlap there. A lot of things you recognised. Yeah. So... 
yeah, did, the snacks did not disappoint. The food in general, Norway, now that we actually got to go visit, did not disappoint. Norway in a whole did not disappoint. Please come and subscribe to the channel. I thought you were going to say you better visit Norway, but no, subscribe to us instead. <laughs> because next week, we you will get to see us going on a cruise to Norway. Mm. Woo! So, yeah, please Embar give it a Embarkation day. Please give the video a, a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really, really appreciate it, though, if you could come join my little YouTube family. Um and you will get to see us try fun food and just 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 come for all the fun stuff right yeah um but yeah guys i am sending love and positivity to each and every one of you thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all and i will catch you in the next one love you so much bye, bye.